Podcasting 101 with me, your host, Rachel. This podcast is for female business owners and solopreneurs that are looking to start a podcast to add to your own already awesome offering. I'll give you helpful advice that you can take away and use in your podcasting journey. I hope to answer those tricky questions that just keep you from starting. Once a month, I'll be joined by other female podcasters. They'll share their journey with you and offer tips and advice they discovered along the way. Let's get started. Hi, and welcome to this week's episode. Today, I'm going to be talking all about promoting your podcast. So the first thing you can do to promote your podcast is to post about it on social media. Whichever platform it is that you are on or your ideal client hangs out on, that is where you can promote them. One tool that you can use to promote your podcast is an audiogram, which if you don't already know what an audiogram is, it's usually a static image with a waveform that moves up and down where and then there's an audio clip on it and it's normally subtitled for accessibility. So and this is a little clip that you pick out from your episode that people can listen to and then you write a caption to go along with it. I really like these audiograms. I thought they were fabulous when I first came across them. You can make them using apps like Headliner, Wave, Canva. I will put some links in the show notes to those um, apps so you can check those out for yourself. I will say Headliner is my favourite one and I did find it a little bit harder to make it in Canva and also you have to do your own subtitles so whereas the other ones are automatic so that's just something to bear in mind. I think the easiest way is to have a little clip of audio ready to upload but in a Headliner you can actually link your podcast to it and, and choose the clip within the app so it's just down to personal choice. I have a graphic pre-prepared in Canva that I use for my audiograms. If I have a guest on, I will feature their photograph. And then if it's a solo episode like this one, I will have the title of the episode in the audiogram. Another way you can promote your podcast on social media is a quote. Pick out a quote that will resonate with your audience, put it in a graphic and use that in a social media use. Again, I use Canva to do this. There are some really nice templates if you don't, if you have not designed one yourself and you can change it to your brand colours. I think quotes really work well for promoting your podcast. They can You can make the graphics quite eye-catching and they can see the, see the quote. Don't make it too long. You want something just not too long so you can fit it on the graphic and people can easily read it. Another thing you need to make sure is that you act tell everybody about your podcast like friends and family included don't like keep it to yourself um I generally use I have a a Facebook page for this podcast um but I also put it onto my personal Facebook page because this just tells your you know friends and family and then their friends and their friends that you have a podcast and oh people will say oh I saw that and pass it on so that is a really great way to get it out there using social media. In Instagram, I put a a link in my bio because the links don't show up in the posts to click on like they do in LinkedIn. Then use like, um, so I'll use Linktree, which is, so there's a Linktree link you can put in your bio bit of your section of your, in your Instagram. And you can click on there and then it has all my links. It has links to my website, to Facebook, to Instagram, to my email, to anything that I might have mentioned in my articles, all those kind of things. It's a really great way. There is a free version. Um, You can do a paid version, which tells you a little bit more analytics and things like that of how many people have clicked through. Depends on whether you want that kind of analytics or not. But I use a free one and it works really, really well. I will put a link to this in the show notes so you can go and check that out for yourself. I think there are are different ones, but it's just Linktree is the one that I've come across. In LinkedIn, I would put the podcast link in your contact info. So when you go to edit your contact info on LinkedIn, you can list it as other where it says websites and you can edit the info or the type 
and that's how it'll display. So you can put the link in like it's a website URL and then you click on other and you put like listen to my podcast or something like that. If you're unsure on what I mean, if you go to my LinkedIn, the, <laughs> my links are in the show notes and click on the contact info, you'll see um, what I mean by that. Because when you click on the contact info, it pops up with my website and it comes like a book, a book in a call with me and it also has my podcast on there as well. So go check that out if you're not sure what I mean. Also, if you're not sure about the the link in bio thing for Instagram, go check out my Instagram page and look at the bio and you'll see what I mean and click on it and it'll, it'll show you a good a good way of what it of what it looks like. Another way to promote your podcast is a website. So if you have a website, I would have a page where you can have your podcast on. You can embed a podcast player on the website, depending on how fancy or not your website is. My website is a WordPress website. It is a basic one. I do this myself. So it's nothing fancy. But I also have with my Captivate, which is my hosting platform, I get a website included in that, like a landing page with all the show notes and all the all the episodes on there. So what I do on my website is I have a link to that. So it then it, it transfers you to that website because it's all in my branded colours and it looks really great. But it is something that um, if you have your show notes as a, you can have them as like a post, as a blog post, um, it will increase your SEO as well, which is really, really good. We all want to do that, don't we? We all want to increase our SEO. You can also, I think there's Spotify uh, on, on uh, WordPress, you can embed into your your website. If you have a look at my website, there is also a page for my old podcast, which um, doesn't have its own website anymore. So what I've done is I have put every episode on my website so people can easily listen to it there. Um, so yeah, go check that out and see what it's like. I have seen some really lovely pages with people's podcasts displayed on there. So if you have somebody that deals with your website, I would definitely get them to sort that out for you and it will just look really, really great. And then you've got that all important SEO from your show notes. I am going to do a future episode on show notes and the importance of them as well. So keep an eye out for that. So another form of promoting your podcast is email marketing. If you do email marketing, you should include a link to your podcasts. Um, however you want to do that, whether you have, I'm not sure if you do a weekly or bi-weekly, monthly newsletter, but if you're not already promoting the episode within the main content, I would make it as like a little link at the bottom. Um, you could do a highlight your guests on the podcast as well, which would be a really nice way um, to promote your podcast. You could do a monthly roundup of the different episodes that you're doing if it's weekly. There's a few different ideas there, but I would definitely use email marketing to promote your podcast. Another one is, which I do, is put a link to my podcast in my email footer, my signature on my email. I also put um, the link to my free download, which is tips to recording better audio, um, because why not? <laughs> it's a little reminder on every email that you send. I think this is a really great way. You can design, I've designed a banner to go on my email signature. And then I have my links. Um, obviously, you have your website and I have the link to my podcast. And then I have the link to my to my guide. I think that's a really great way. Also, if you have a newsletter, potentially, you could ask somebody if they want to sign up to your newsletter in that as well. It's just free advertising, isn't it? If you send quite a lot of emails or you're speaking to different people, it's just nice to have it there at the bottom. I know that it might not always be spotted, but I think that it's a really great way to have it there, especially if you make the banner really eye-catching um, and then have the links kind of just on top of the banner. I think that could work out really, really well. Those are my main tips for promoting your podcast. If you have any other ideas or any other ways in which you promote your podcast, I would love to hear from you. Also, if you have any questions on any of this subject, then please get in touch. I'd love to hear from you. Next week, I will be talking about audiograms in a little bit more detail. So tune in then. Thanks a lot then. Bye. 
Thanks so much for listening. If you've enjoyed today's episode, please like, share and subscribe. Your support means so much to me. If there's a question or topic you'd like covering, then I'd love to hear from you. Find the podcast on Instagram at Rachie Botfield and drop me a DM. Till next time. Bye.